Hello and welcome to this video. A few weeks ago there was an update for Pybrex and I wanted to make a video on that. First of all, what is Pybrex? Pybrex is an option to program the current LEGO hubs, which are for example in the LEGO City theme. There are the LEGO Technic Control Plus vehicles which have hubs, but also LEGO Mining Stones by Prime and Spec Essential and LEGO Boost. And all of them include hubs, which can be programmed. Officially, there's, for example, the Powered Up app and the Spike app, which you can use to program that, but there's also Pybrex to program them in Python. Of course, you have to program Python, which might not be very convenient, but Pybrex has a few advantages over the Powered Up app and other options because they have a very good support for new hardware. For example, there's the light matrix in the Spike Essential set, and it already works in Python in Pybrix for all of the hubs, but it's not supported in the Powered Up app for now. So it makes sense to use Pybrix if you, want, for example, want to use it. Another advantage is that you can use a Bluetooth full energy connection to the LEGO remote. So you can connect the hub directly to the remote without having delays which come from an app in between. And also you can download programs and store them on the hubs, which means uh, that you don't have to connect to a smart device every time you want to use your hub. This is ex especially useful in addition with the remote because that way you can write programs to run on your Technic hubs and to remote control your Technic vehicles without having to use a smartphone after the initial installation. But there have been a few new updates and I want to cover them now. First of all, there was a user interface update. Now we've got this tab here and we can make additional files. So for example, I can create a new file and call it test3. And then I can write code in this file and in this file and that way I can organize bigger projects more easily. Or for example, I have my main code and I want to test something. I can simply make a new file, test it here and then do it or copy it to the old file if it works or don't destroy the old file if it doesn't work. You can also import a file or backup all files and you can rename them and copy them but that's not all you can also import functions from one file to another file there is this video which i will link in the description uh, it will show or shows how it's possible here is the mymodule.py file and it has a my useful function function and in the main python file you can now uh, import from the file name at the function, so from file name import function, and then you can use the function in the other file. That option will make organizing bigger projects much more easier. Next, we had uh, install firmware option here in the past. It got moved to the settings wheel, and now here we can install the Pybrex firmware, but we can also restore the official LEGO firmware. So now we don't have to use the Powered Up app or the Mindstorms app or another app to install the original firmware, we can simply use this button. For the Spike Hub, it will install the firmware 2 and not the third firmware for the latest update for the Spike Prime uh, software. So you can use this to downgrade the Spike Prime software and then you can use the Spike app 3 to update uh, to the version, version 3 if you want to change from Pybrix to version 3. They removed something that was the option to include the current program in the firmware but now the option to download programs to the hub works in another way now you can run your code and the code will be saved in the hub if you turn the hub off the proper way so you can run the code then the code is in the volatile memory and then you can turn the hub off by pressing the green button for a while and after that the code will be stored in the hub it won't be stored in the hub if you take out the batteries to turn the hub off. So now you can simply turn the hub off and the program will be stored. You don't have to upload the firmware again. And that uh, where the changes for this version, there's also a new announced feature, which is hub-to-hub -hub communication. It works in a similar manner to the hub-to-hub -hub communication from the Spike Prime app by sending broadcast messages, but I haven't tried it and it's still experimental. So function names can change and there can also be problems which will be solved in the future, future if you want to use it now. 
So that was it for this video. Are you going to use any of the functions or of the new features of uh, this update? Please tell me that in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and bye.